Good, Good evening. Know. More on that port story for you in just a moment. But first, Six Investigates has discovered the proposed Southside campus for the Mary Carroll High School is in a crash zone for Navy pilots. And the Navy has safety concerns about it. Six Investigates has also learned that earlier this year, the Navy recommended that CCID not build the new school in that area. Investigative reporter Jessica Savage has more. Land for the new Mary Carroll High School campus is part of a crash zone for the nearby Cabinus airfield. That's where Navy pilots begin their flight training. And it's part of the reason why the Navy recommended back in March that CCISD not build Mary Carroll High School in that area. CCISD says those concerns have been addressed. They actually had cons more concerns about the school being in the flight path, and we actually uh, took that recommendation and moved it. Here's a closer look at the 60 acre piece of property. Right here in red is where the crash zone is. The Navy says the area you see covered with yellow lines is a future crash zone, and that's where the district originally planned to place the classrooms. But after the Navy raised concerns, CCISD moved the school over here to the other side of the property. That that change means the planned athletic fields will still be in the flight path. Carol Tiger parents we spoke with, like this one, have concerns. If that's the case, then they should really look for a different location, especially if the Navy doesn't recommend it. The Navy's recommendation is simple, to avoid the potential of a plane crashing into a building with lots of people inside of it. The new high school is designed to hold over 2,000 students. The risk is there, and it's something CCISD considered. We, we don't know of, a, of an accident that's, that's happened uh, around this training base. Um, in fact, two Navy flyers were killed when their T-34 trainer crashed in January of 2006. The plane went down in a residential area off Yorktown near Waldron Road. And the other reason the Navy recommended against the school being built there is the noise caused by low flying Navy planes. You know, with the buildings that we're building right now, the kids, the students won't even uh, be able to hear those planes. And even though the $210 million bond proposal that would fund the new high school still needs voter approval, public records show CCISD bought some of the land on October 4th more than a month before Election Day. About an hour ago, district spokeswoman confirmed that they have bought all the land they need and that they stayed within the district's $10 million budget set aside for that land purchase. The district says if voters approve the bond, that money will be reimbursed. Lee? All right, thank you very much, Jessica. As she just mentioned, CCIC issued a statement late this afternoon where they once again said they have taken safety and flight activity into consideration when selecting the site. As you may know, there's another new high school under construction out near Cabinets Field. It's being built by the School of Science and Technology. Now, we checked on it, and that property is not in a crash zone, although it is close to one.